हेलो एंड वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल आज हम लोग सीखने वाले हैं क्लास सेवन का मैथमेटिक्स मैं हूं शुरुजीत दे और आप देख रहे हैं मेरा यूट्यूब चैनल इकोनोमैट्रिक्स दे नो ड्रामा नो कंफ्यूशन बट ओनली एडुकेशन so today we are going to study class 7 mathematics and we are going to understand and solve the sums of chapter 1 integers and this is a continuing class going on and today's part is part 4 and in this part we are going to study multiplication of integers okay so let us know about the concept about multiplication of integers okay for multiplication of integers we must know certain rules what are those rules now the first is same integers when multiplied positive integer into positive integer so you will get positive only again negative integer into negative integer here also you will get positive that means same sign when you multiply product is positive clear understand very nicely again different sign positive into negative so it will be negative again negative into positive it will be also negative that means if the signs are different okay so what i can write different sign then product is product is negative different sign product is negative clear up to this much next we will know the rule of division of integers okay now if positive integer is divided by another positive integer then the quotient will be positive and if a negative integer divided by negative integer then the quotient will be also positive that means same sign okay if it is same sign then quotient quotient is positive clear and then next one if different signs are there okay if a positive integer is divided by a negative integer then the quotient is negative if a negative integer is divided by a positive integer then the quotient is negative clear that means different sign quotient is quotient is negative clear so these rules are very very important when we are doing the multiplication and division sums of integers now we will start solving the exercise questions okay and when we will be solving the exercise questions then this concept will be much more clearer okay now let us start solving exercise 1.2 the first question multiply the following integers and here are few sums are there a to f so one by one sum we will take and we will try to solve it here okay so number a question number 1 number a so it is telling what minus 9 into 7 so minus and this is plus so negative positive that means different sign and different sign what is the formula now it is negative only uh, the product is negative and 9 sevens are 63 and this is the answer okay now first one we have finished now number b 0 into minus 
Now, when you multiply anything with 0, so it will be always 0 only. Okay. So, this is the answer. Then number C. Number C is telling 12 into minus 15. So, positive. Here nothing, no sign means positive. And here it is negative. So, positive and negative when you multiply different sign. Different sign means only the product is negative. So, negative sign. And 12 and 15 we will multiply. Okay. If you can multiply directly good. So, it will be 180. If you cannot multiply, you can multiply it here. See, 12 and 15. 5, 2 is a 10. 1, 5, 1 is a 5, 6. Again, 1, 2 is a 1, 1 is a. Okay. 0, 8, 1. So, you are getting 180. Now, after C, let us do number D. Let me do it here. D. Okay. Minus 6 into minus 8. So, negative sign, negative sign. So, both are same sign. Same sign means it becomes positive. So, 6, 8 is a 48 and this is the answer. Then number E minus 9 into minus 2 into 4. So, here 3 integers are there. So, first we will do these 2 integers. Negative into negative, it will be positive only. Same sign. So, 9 to the 18 into, then this 4 is there. So, 18 into 4, so it becomes 72 and this is the answer. If you cannot, you can do it in the rough. 18 into 4, 4 8 is a 32, 3, 4 1 is a 4, 5 6 7. So, 7 comes. Clear? The students of class 7. Now, slowly, slowly only I am doing it for you all. Now, minus 10 into 0 into minus 28. Now, see, here one 0 is there. And I told you anything you multiply with 0, it will be 0. So, if you multiply this one with 0, 0. Again, multiply with any number also 0. So, ultimately we can write this one 0. Clear? So, question number 1, all the sums A, B, C, D, E, F, we have done. Okay. Now, we will move on to the next sum. Now, we are going to solve question number 2. Evaluate the following. And there are 4 sums are here. A, B, C, D. 1 by 1, we are going to solve it. 2, A. Minus 2 into minus 5 into 27. So, here three integers are there. First, we will do these two. So, minus or minus same sign. So, it will be positive and two fives are 10 into 27. So, how much you get 10 into 27? 270. Okay. And this is the answer. Number B, 8 into minus 10 minus 10 into 12. Okay. So, positive, negative, different sign. So, it will be what? Negative. 8 into 10, 80 into 12. Again, negative, positive. No 12, before 12, there is no sign means positive. So, negative into positive, different sign. So, the sign will be negative and we will multiply this one. So, how much it comes? 960. Okay. Now, if you think how it is coming 960, how this one is coming 270. So, 27 into 10. If you cannot do directly, you can do rough. 1, 7, 1, 2. So, 0, 7, 2. See, 270 is coming. Then how it is coming? Now, 80 and this is 12. So, 2 zeros are 0, 2 8 is 16. 1 zero is 0, 1 8 is 8. So, 0, 6, 9. So, how much you get? Minus 960. And this is the answer. Clear? Now, we will do number C. Minus 4 into 5 into minus 6 into minus 2. So, first we will do these two and then we will do these two. And in between, we will put the multiplication sign. 
So see negative positive. So it will be negative only. 4 5s are 20. Easy. Now negative into negative same sign. So it will be positive positive no need of writing and 6 2s are 12. Clear. Now negative into positive negative. Now we will multiply and it will become 240. If you cannot do directly I told you do the rough. See 20 and 12. 2 0 0, 2 2 4, 1 0 0, 1 2 2, 0 4 2, 240. Clear? I think you have understood up to this much. Now we will do the fourth one that is number D. For that, let me wrap this one. Okay. Now number D. Number D is telling what? Minus 5 into minus 2 into minus 6 into minus 8. So, these two I will multiply and after that these two. So, and in between I will put the multiplication sign, this multiplication sign, minus minus. So, negative sign, same sign. So, 5 2 is a 10. Negative, negative, same sign. So, it will be positive. 6 8 is a 48. And when you multiply, how much you get? 4 8. So, question number 2 over. Now, we will move on to the next sum. Now, we are going to solve question number 3. But before that, I would like to request all the students of class 7 that if you like this video, if you like my channel, then please give a like, share it with your friends and group and don't forget to subscribe my channel. Because when you subscribe my channel, then it motivates me to make more such new videos for you all. Okay. Now, let us come back to question number three. Divide the integers. Okay. Now, we will do division. Okay. Division of integers. Let me solve here. Answer three. Very easy division of integers also. Number A. Zero divided by minus eight. So, this one I can write like this way 0 divided by instead of writing that this division sign I will write divided by one slipping line ok and it will be just equal to in between from equal to there only it will be then minus 8 ok. Now see this is neither nothing sign 0 divided by any number remember 0 divided by any number it will be 0 only and this is the answer clear. Now number B. Number B is what? 18 divided by minus 6. So, we will write in that same style 18 divided by minus 6. So, on top it is positive divided by negative. So, different sign that means the quotient will be negative. So, negative. Now, you can cut it 6 1s are 6, 6 3s are 18 or directly also you can write 3. So, 3 answer clear. Then number C, C is what? Minus 81 divided by minus 3. So, minus 81 we will write divided by one slipping line and then minus 3. Now, see both are same sign minus minus negative negative clear or no? So, same sign it will become positive how? Like this it cuts or according to the formula also. And then you will cut this one. 3 1s are 3, 3 2s are 6, 2 remaining. So 21, 3 7s are 21. So it becomes 27, and this is the answer. Clear? Now, number D. D is what? Minus 36 divided by 4. So we can write minus 36 in the numerator, 4 in the denominator. Now, you can see negative positive different sign. So, the answer will be negative only. Now, we can cut 4 1s are 4, 4 9s are 36. Okay. So, 9 is the answer. So, answer clear. Now, we will do number E minus 99 divided by 33. So, minus 99 divided by 33. See again minus plus. So, different sign. 
so the answer will be in negative only and you can cut directly 33 threes are 99 if you don't know 33 threes are you do with 11 table okay 11 threes are 33 11 nines are 99 three ones are three three threes are nine so you get minus three as the answer clear now last one f 95 divided by minus 19 so what i will write 95 divided by minus 19 see positive negative so different sign answer will be negative and 19 ones are 19 fives so it will be minus 5 will be the answer 19 see 19 into 5 5 nines are 45 5 ones are 5 plus 4 9 95 so question number three all the solutions i have done okay now it's your duty to practice question number one two and three nicely okay and the rest sums of this exercise 1.2 we will do in the next part okay so thank you for watching my video keep practicing keep smiling bye bye